Well, hello there, friends, followers, and amateur radio aficionados and Drake TR4 enthusiasts. Here I have a Drake TR4 that I've been working on for probably a few weeks now, and this one has a custom built in noise blanker. So I've been debugging this noise blanker, and it seems to work. It needed a bit of a tune up, but that's not very hard. So to help people in the future, uh, tune up these NB34 Drake boards. Uh, I have one right here and I have the tune-up procedure on my computer screen. So what they're saying here to do about this thing is turn it on, adjust capacitors, C10, C19 for maximum estimated on calibrated signal. All right, and those two, C, C10, C19 are right there. And I'm on calibrator here. So I want to adjust those two for a max signal. And I've already done this, but I'm simply going to redo it for the sake of making a video on showing people how to adjust an NB34 noise blanker. So here are those two, and being careful here, the board is not in the radio. I'll tweak this guy if I can. There, you can see it going down and up. So you can see it will affect the S meter greatly. So if these are out of alignment, your receiver is going to be working pretty shabbily. Anyway, I'm going to pick that one up again. All right, the other one. You can see that it makes a pretty big difference. A very small, small turn. All right, and then once those are done, and now with mine, if I turn the calibrator off on this terminal four, and terminal four is the one that goes to the tube pin in the chassis, terminal four of that. But I found it on mine finally after uh, looking at the schematic and determining where that was. So the way I did that was I got the schematic loaded in here. They, they have it on here of where terminal 4 is. The guy writes terminal 4 there and that's correct. Okay, you'll see the schematic here and I'll rotate it. And now you'll see this little diagram here, terminal 4, there, and it goes all the way down to here into there. So basically on my unit, this 4, since I'm not using a, um, I don't have this built-in socket, my unit is wired directly. I found that my terminal 4 was where this green clip lead is now. It's above that big round capacitor, right about there. It's going out of the radio, or of the noise blanker board, with a white wire with red stripe. And lo and behold, when I trace that, it goes to this little switch they put in here, the noise blanker on off switch. And to turn it off, they just ground that wire to ground. So that's what they're doing there. And sure enough, on the voltmeter here, if I flick this to off, the voltage goes to zero pretty much. So that's an issue. Um, it makes my radio and noise blanker NB34 not follow instructions. I'm thinking I have an earlier version of this board. Not terribly much earlier, but a bit earlier. Anyway, let's finish this thing off and do it. So now they're saying with it turned off. Now, since I turned mine off, it grounds that point. I can't turn it off. So leaving it turned on, adjust R24 for a max positive voltage. Okay, there's my voltage. 
R24 is the only pot, the only potentiometer on this board is R24. That little guy right there is R24. So we'll adjust that for a maximum positive voltage. And there's our voltage. Going down a bit. So I'm really tweaking the heck out of it, actually. Oh, they said turn the calibrator off. Oh, yeah. okay, turn it off, turn it off. Turn it off, there we go. And yes, that changes the voltage a lot. So, now, calibrator off. And I have like, raw band noise coming in here. I wonder if I wanna defocus this thing by taking the thing out of tune here like that. Meter goes down. That gives me a much higher voltage. Anyway, let's see now. Can I turn this for max voltage? Yes, I can. Wow. So that's great. That gives it a more stable environment to work with when you take a signal off of the thing. So there we go. I can go back and forth like this on that potentiometer and change it greatly. So I'm going to do a max voltage on it, as they say. So I probably did this wrong the first time because I uh, had a signal path to the antenna. All right, so it's, it's kind of broad, but I'm going to think about 8.3 is all I can get. That's about right. Now, the two remaining capacitors. It says adjust C21 and C8 for minimum positive voltage. And so we did adjust these before. The remaining ones are on the bottom. It's this one here and that one there. We're going to take those to a minimum voltage in the meter. Let's give it a whirl. As I recall, these were kind of lazy. Okay, so minimum. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm trying to get this thing. Okay, there we go. Let's minimize that one. No, I had it pretty close, didn't I? 11 to 83 for that one. Let's minimize this one here. And once that's done, this is all finished. So, the instructions from Drake in the 60s are still pretty good, right? There's that one. Okay, I'm just turning it a bit, and it's reacting I'm oh, cranking this a good bit out and it's slowly minimizing yeah one of these I recall didn't have much effect it must be this one so it seems to like to be at less capacitance and it's, okay, no, it's going back up. Good, we got a null. That's nice. It's good to get a null, right? Okay, so right about there. And we can try and null this other one again. Okay, that, was pretty, that one's pretty sharp. Mm, go back to 65 and call it a day. That's it. Okay, so the... Noise blanket board NB34 is done. On this radio, they have it kind of homemade here with a bracket. They slide it in here. There's, there's no, there's no attaching tube socket here in this model, so that must be later. And it's all wired in. And again, this little switch here for noise blanker on, it turns, it grounds out that test point four. So again, the test point four I'm using is right smack the capacitor there let's get a good angle for you folks of how to find test point four and on the schematic it's findable as pin four on the uh, tube socket so let's go back to where we were here Let's do a switch of this thing here. Click, click, click. Okay. And... Oh, 
Okay. There's the pin four again. One, two, three, four, right there. Goes back to here. And so that's on my radio. This gets grounded. This gets grounded. To turn off the uh, noise blanker. So when it grounds that, I guess it doesn't. It doesn't then feed this wire. Okay. Well, that's. Hope it works. I followed the procedure. So we'll see. Time to put this thing back in the radio. The uh, only problem with this radio, the way this was done was, I liked that the radio um, as as tidy and as efficient as I can. They they had this tube, it's hot. They had that tube jacket off of there, tube cover off of there. So I didn't like that too much. So it kind of hits in around here. I kind of bent these resistors around as to go away from that and I'll tend to install this and have it backed out a bit so I'll tend to tighten the screw with with that little lug backed out so when you hit the cover I probably should put some tape in there or insulation just in case okay well that's it for this Drake TR4 it's going back together and we'll test it out thanks for watching have a great day